Alrighty guys, so brand new world. This is literally the spawn point. I spawned right here. Uh, yeah, we've got this mountain, this mountain, and this mountain. All snow covered, all of that. So let's just back it up real quick. And 21W38A, new snapshot. A lot smaller than 21W37A. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. There's so much going on. But this is the second half of the Caves and Cliff update, the second official snapshot as well. So as you can see, these massive mountains are awesome. This one it looks like is the biggest and has like ice caps on it and a few other things. So this is really cool. This is literally like first world I opened up with this. And yeah, that's the spawn point right there. So I'm loving this. There's a goat right there. I guess we need a spyglass. Cause then we can look a little closer. Hello goat. Oh, tons of goats. But if you guys have missed those other updates, go watch them as well as if you go ahead and click the F1 to make your screen just be Minecraft and use the spyglass, it's literally just Optifine. And as you can see, I move very slowly as a commenter pointed out when I said that I completely stop. So you don't actually completely stop. You just move very, very slowly. I just didn't do it long enough. It just seemed like I completely stopped. So yeah, this update, uh, there was some known issues that were fixed, like world saving just took forever. Uh, not compatible with older worlds within like the other, like the other snapshots. And so it was just, it was really weird. This is a nice little village up here too. Um, and so they fixed those little bugs and then they did a few other things such as copper ore generates up to Y95 as it, as they stated, originally it was designed for that. It just wasn't showing up. And so they have adjusted that. This is such a deep like canyon. This is cool. So if you guys want that seed, here it is. Bam, there is the seed. If you want to pause and collect that and join me in this world, uh, another village. So if you head, I think this is west. Uh, da, 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 west, yeah. If you kind of head uh, northwest west, you'll run into that. And then you run into that, but look at that. Look at this open cave with dripstone just hanging off. But I love these canyons. This massive canyon is amazing. Anyways, guys, so yeah, copper now generates how it's supposed to, as well as increased amounts of copper. And yeah, look at these caves. I think, let's see if I can pop the brightness. Now I am bright as can be. Uh, I think it's a mod that increases brightness even more. But anyways, yeah, you can see little pockets of this here and there. This is a pretty darn cool cave. So, and then the other thing that they adjusted was lapis lazuli. So it generates in blobs, just like every other ore, instead of how it's been, which is like that super spread out. It just, it wasn't as nice to find, like it was, it was honestly kind of a pain. So they've adjusted that and fixed it, and I think it will do a lot better now. So we're just gonna keep walking, or flying down this canyon. It looks like something is over there, so we'll head that way a little bit. Maybe another, no, that's a tree. That is a tree. Let's just go into spectator and fly under the ground now. Looks like that might be an amethyst. So yeah, and one big thing that they have adjusted that I am really happy for is, pop the spectator, that when you sprint, they've adjusted sprinting, which seems like a very odd thing to do, but 
when you sprint and you like nicked a block as you were running, you'd immediately just start walking. It's kind of frustrating, right? Well, that no longer will happen. If you are sprinting and you just brush up against some bro some rocks, some rocks, you will just continue. No issue whatsoever. Like you'll continue running, no problem, which is amazing. It was really, really frustrating. These new caves, these long spindly ones are awesome. I love it. Uh, so yeah, so much nicer that we actually have a, uh, like we can run and brush up against a, a block and not have an issue with it. This is cool. This looked like nether. Like, I almost want to do this in the nether. Re like, you know how like, people redo biomes in the overworld, redo a biome in the nether like this. So yeah guys, so basically when you're running in Minecraft, it used to be you would immediately start walking if you bumped into a block, but now if you just brush up against a block, very slightly, you continue running. It's very slightly. So it's like if you're running down, say you had like a mine, that you dug in out that's just one block wide, that sort of thing. And when you're running down, you try and be centered, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes you're not very centered, that sort of thing. You can now just run to the side of the block and no issue there whatsoever at all, which is awesome. So yeah, that is kind of the biggest change, I would say, is that new like running thing i mean there has been a new thing if you go to options video setting and then there's a new thing called simulation distance um which is very interesting so entities will not be updated outside of this simulation distance so basically i can pop up my render distance way up here but bop pop my simulation distance down here and it doesn't use my CPU as much. And then, but yeah, and then they're still working on this, so it's definitely not done, um, but it's still gonna continue. And then there's some other technical things, the maximum amount of background threads have increased um, and added telemetry for world loading. So just more technical things. If you're on the technical end of things, then that's great and you want to know that. So now, like, if six chunks away, these guys are not gonna budge. But because, like, even, like, that one's moving, but that one's, oh no, that one is. Is that one? Yep, that one's moving. So they're within the six chunks. That skeleton is, the bee is. But if I back up and go outside that six chunks, they should freeze. Let's see. Not quite. And these guys should start moving. Yep, they've started to move. So they've actually just de- oh no, they're there. Yeah, I, they are frozen now. So because I've done that six chunk, now anything outside of those six chunks are not gonna load in until I get within those six chunks from them, which is awesome, because yeah, it doesn't take up as much CPU. Look at this place. Alrighty, and so yeah, lots of little details with uh, all sorts of technical things, um, different loading such things, and tons and tons of bugs. That's literally the snapshot. So the biggest thing, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. The biggest thing has been that the world loads faster, like saves faster, and that you can now run and bump into a block and still run. They fixed copper ore distribution, and they updated the distribution of lapis lazuli. And, I mean, and a few technical changes, like that stimul simulation distance is nice, but really not much else has changed. 
Um, so it was crazy because like my last video was 30 minutes long on the 21W37A because it was so much. But this one is just, there's not that much to it really. Um, compared to that last one, like this one is super bland. Like it's mainly just kind of bug fixes and all of that sort of stuff. But I do love how they've generated these mountains. Like it looks natural, it looks good, and it looks Minecraft. And I really like that and I'm really enjoying that. So if we just, yeah, spawn point right here. So yeah, guys. So this has been 21W38A. By no means was it that great. Um, I mean, it's still a snapshot. There were still some new things that were changed and updated to it, and it was still a good thing to explore, and it is a nice world, but yeah, not much has changed. Um, hopefully next update will be a little bit bigger, but you never know, so. We shall see, hopefully pretty soon, we should start getting some like deep dark stuff and all of that. But Mojang still has a few months before they stated that they were gonna release this, which was supposed to be coming out in the holiday time. So between like Thanksgiving, Christmas, so November, December, somewhere in there is when it's expected to drop the official second half of 1.17, which 1.18, they're not calling it 1.18 particularly, um, they're saying it's the second half of Cave and Cliff update, or Caves and Cliff, part two snapshot is here. So who knows if it's gonna be considered 1.17 part two, or if it's gonna be considered 1.18. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys the next time and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe and hit that bell and then you'll get notified for the next update. And hopefully it will be a big one and I'm excited, you should be too. So we'll see you next time. Bye!